Well, we're back doing one of these things again. I didn't think we'd actually jump into a trailer reaction quite this soon, but then the internet provideth, and I got a trailer that hoved into my field of vision that I, A, didn't know was coming, and B, did not expect, and I am looking forward to seeing how you respond to this, and then we can talk about it. So why don't you go ahead and pop those headphones on while we watch a trailer for the newest Hellboy reboot, Hellboy the Crooked Man, which is coming out this year, yet another Hellboy movie with another actor playing Hellboy. No David Harbour? No, he's out. I guess he's too busy making Stranger Things 5 or something, but whatever. I, all right, play. Yep, so here we go. <laughs> Hellboy the Crooked Man. Yeah, that's my reaction too. Tell tales about him all my life. Folks just called him the crooked man. Huh. Soon. Oh, don't tempt me with a good time. Hellboy the Crooked oh, Man. Whoa, sorry. Huh. So, um... Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, you're really lucky I don't look at that. Apparently, I don't look at the internet, like, all day. <laughs> I always think I'm, like, on the internet all day, and then you're like, did you hear about this thing? And I'm like, do I live under a rock? Um, Interesting. So, all right, let's be honest. I think I, I've not hidden this, like... I don't actually read Hellboy. Right, no. I just, you, I yeah. like the world of it. I've, I've watched the films. You played the video I, I played games. I played the video game, the most recent one. Really enjoyed that, like, more than I anticipated. Mm -hmm. uh, wow, I don't, I don't know if this trailer was enough for me to, under, like, to know if I'm excited for this movie. Because there's definitely some things I'm, de like, thrilled about, right? Yeah. Like, the fact that we're going and making it more of a horror film. I'm right. like, yes, yeah, yes, it, it let's looks, make it happen, it's right? It's almost like a Blumhouse movie. But it has all those hallmarks of the, I'm watching a movie at two in the morning on Amazon. I just want to see something. Yeah, you know, It's yeah, got yeah, that yeah, drone yeah. shot that says, I don't have the budget for this, but we did get a drone shot. It's got really, really quick special effects, like the woman with the snake in the woods. And it's like, oh, don't look too close or for too long, lest you see the seams of our terrible CG. You know, Overall, for me, it if you were to remove the Hellboy element, it looks like a discount horror movie. Like, it looks like a horror movie that you it, might spend a million dollars on. It definitely has a feel of maybe a lower budgeted film. But again, this is from the trailer. For, for me, what was the most striking, um, and none of them have really gotten this right, uh, any of the movies. Yeah. Um, the fact is, like, when you're dealing with Hellboy, regardless if you read it or not, you're probably familiar with Magnolia's art, and it's, like, very reliant on Shadow. Yeah. And, like, this movie is, seems to have Lacks an them. overall absence of them, and that is pulling me right out. I know they're probably doing their own thing, um, but I just feel like it sh should be a little bit darker. Yeah. Um, also, it's funny, because, like, I thought if they're doing, like, you know, like, the 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 you know there was a crooked man he walked a crooked mile yeah like i i if they're doing that i think that's a like british scottish mm. something like that poem okay that like parliament or something i don't know it's like secretly about something else okay well. um it's just interesting that they're, it's it, it looks like it's maybe more of like this is more of like an appalachia yeah it is no no it's set in appalachia and actually it is it is appalachia an, oh excuse me but it is also <laughs> apparently uh it is an adaptation of an actual Hellboy comic Ooh, called okay, Hellboy okay. the Crooked Man, okay, which is set in that region. Yeah, and like, admittedly, like that alone is enough for me to buy a ticket. Sure, that's enough for me to go and watch that. Like, you know, uh, 
recently that has been more crawling into my purview, like whether it be via like podcasts, like horror podcasts or whatever, but like, you know, Appalachia and like the mythology surrounding it, the supernatural sure. surrounding it, the like, don't go out at night <laughs> yeah. surrounding it. Uh, perfect like place for there to be a Hellboy story. Um, you know, obviously like including like, you know, witchcraft and, and all of that in there. I'm, I'm way, I'm into this. I'm into the, the concept of this story enough that I'm like, Ooh, should I read the book first before mm. going to see this? Should I just go and watch this? And I then, think if you, if you I read the book like, first, you'd, you would be more disappointed I think by I should, this movie. I think I should just see the movie first and then read the book afterwards, not judge the book by the film, but mm. instead judge after, um, yeah, like there's a lot of stuff in there that I was like, this is fun. I appreciate the fact that it's kind of a different look for Hellboy a little like smaller yeah um but like i you know he, he looks like we have hellboy at home like each subsequent hellboy from the ron perlman movies to the david harbour movies to now the jack kesey movie it just looks like they're just trimming away more and more from hellboy and making well, it less and less expensive yeah but i mean when you do see him like drawn there is like he's big but he has a gangliness yeah to there, him. there's like a something they haven't quite captured yet i noticed it when i was playing the game the most like just the look at i was like how much i was like this is the comic this yeah. is much more the comic a lot of people think ron perlman naturally david harbour has like a similar cadence to him it's not quite the ron perlman in the room but yeah it it's kind of gruff you know, almost nonchalant kind of reaction to everything. It's what I really want, or at least have been conditioned to expect right. from Hellboy. This kind of feels not quite um, Raimi, but like a little Evil Dead, but like remake. But the Evil new Dead. Evil Dead, yeah, yeah, which I think is going to really play to a lot of people. Like I said, like I'm definitely going to see this. You know, sure. if you're, you're going to try and make a Hellboy movie a little more horror and a little less like supernatural, super, yeah, superhero, yeah. Uh, listen, I'm here for it, and I, and I think they might actually do better to find an audience too. Mm, mm. Like I, I think you know you have even if a lot of Hellboy comics might skew a little both, like walk that line yeah. between like supernatural mythology, horror, superhero as sure. well. Um, I think the horror audience will definitely open up if it, if it's well if it's done well enough. I mean, maybe what they'll do is like maybe we saw a lot of like some of the bigger special effects, but maybe this movie will be even if it has a smaller budget. A lot of times horror directors have to use that in yes. order to create a little bit more, you know, tension. So Absolutely. Maybe no. it'll be used more. I don't know. This trailer was really hard for me to get a feel for it. The last trailer we watched, I was like, I have a very like distinct idea of what this is going to be. Well, and you've I seen knew, a number of Robert Eggers movies. Say, I knew the director going into this. I don't know the director for this. Mm -hmm. The look of it, I yeah. wish it had a little more shadows. Yeah, the, the sure. director's Brian Taylor. He made Crank and Happy and stuff like that. Oh. <sighs> Uh, you oh, know, I saw I would, some of Happy. Eh. You know, for that me, that would not make me think what this was. What, like, well, let's throw a horror movie at that director. No, interesting. Yeah, uh, for me, I mean, you look at the action. Yeah, if there is much to be had, I don't know. For me, I'm like, I'll go out on a limb and say this looks really bad. It looks like they took two different movies. Like they made they made a kind of Blumhouse esque, but definitely more like direct to streaming service. Mm -hmm you know, first time director movie and then slammed it into like a Hellboy fan film. We shot this in the woods kind of picture and then put them together. Yeah. I, it just, I mean, it looks real cheap. I mean, obviously they're saving money by filming in the woods, but I mean, if that's where the story takes place, it I, makes sense. You know, it, 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 look, it's more just like, that's the genre, the genre of low budget, bad horror movies typically take place in a warehouse or the woods <laughs> i feel like i just didn't see enough of hellboy mm -hmm. for me to feel like i can judge his costume and like what he looks like yeah know? yeah yeah i hear like, you it was happening so fast and i was really just trying to pay attention to what to what was they, happening yeah, it's just for me when every like every every shot they show like there's a trailer they're, they're trying to show you more or less the best bits and it's just like if that's the best uh oh yeah i i like there are a couple of nice shots. I love that shot with the horse. Yeah. But again, it's so washed out and so and a lot of yeah. low budget looking. I was just like, and and I I'm actually not against the idea of doing a low budget Hellboy movie, but I kind of thought we saw that already with the David Harbor movie. Right, right. But now we're doing again. This is more horror. I think they're just trying to find their own mark for sure. Um, we'll see. Like the washed out could be intentional yeah it could be yeah you know it, it depends you know if you're trying to tell like a bleak right 
bleak story. You know, sure. you have this big red character mm -hmm. washing it out a little bit. will definitely make it feel a little more like oppressive. a little more grounded too. I'd it's have like to see he's... the movie in order to, to really make that feel. But we have seen that oftentimes with like, you know, direct to Netflix, direct to Amazon style movies where it's like they rely on the fact that they shot in log and they didn't want to color grade it. That's, that's too much. That's what it looks like. Um, it, it looks look, uncolor graded. It does not look, no, fully uncolor graded is something. It's like not fully, never seen, but it doesn't but look it, done. It doesn't it look does, done. Yeah. That's the other thing is it doesn't look finished. But I, I, there's enough in this for me yeah. to want to watch this. But I, I am definitely more, between the two of us, I'm willing to roll the dice. Yeah on a movie like this at every time, yeah. you know, even if it, it ends up being not the best, you know, sure. I'll, I'll still enjoy it. I'll, I'll take, take something from it for sure. I, 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 I mean, yeah. Um, but this is probably a little more up my alley anyway, right. In terms of the um, genre it's trying to capture. Exactly. exactly. So uh, yeah. Yeah. You know. Hellboy the Crooked Man. I, I will see it, but I don't, I, you know, it's not because this trailer necessarily sold me 100%. It's, it's, <laughs> it's really more like you would have seen it with just a tweet. Like you would have seen it being told, "Hey, there's a new Hellboy movie. It's low budget horror." Maybe. I don't know. Like you know, finding out, you know, realizing that like this is based off of directly one of the stories. Which saying it out loud, like yes, I think I've heard, I've seen that many times on the shelves. Yes. Um, but like seeing the trailer for it and putting together the Appalachia of it all, I'm like, okay, there's there's a little there's more something to this. there. You know, that world is already kind of pre built in my head. Totally. Um, so which may not help this movie. <laughs> I don't know, um, but I'll definitely check it out. I'm interested in seeing another uh, actor's take on, on Hellboy, Hellboy character. Every time I, feel like I we see... didn't get a lot of him doing or saying much in this, so no, yeah, and that's probably good. You know, you're gonna you're not Save getting him. a chance to to prejudge. You're just gonna go, yeah, hopefully see it. They might, you know, if they I'm just worried because like I hear so much about you know them making that Spawn movie. I've been hearing about <laughs> Todd making this new Spawn movie for yeah. the last 25 years or so. Yeah, yeah. And every time we hear about it, the budget keeps getting smaller and the the spawn keeps getting lesser and I'm worried that these are the kind of lessons that they're learning where it's like, no, 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 no. The first movie had way too much Hellboy in it. The second movie still too much Hellboy, too much fantastical stuff. But the third one, the third attempt or fourth attempt, because there's also a sequel to the first Hellboy movie. Every time I see a new Hellboy movie, all I think is, man, Ron Promo is so good. Mm. You know, because mm -hmm. I love David Harp. But I did not like his Hellboy very much. Right. That had mostly to do with the design. Like the, the makeup for Ron Perlman's was just perfection. The makeup for David Harbour's made him look like Hellboy had like a like a drug problem. Right, but like they were going for something different. It was, and, you and they wanted to be different. I had an idea. What what David Harbour looks like, right? So like for me, not I've experienced the Ron Perlman, the David Harbour, and the video game version of it. That's like, true. It's just like, I'm like, oh, okay, my mind's a little more open. Yes. Um, I, I, There's a part of me that kind of wishes that, like, A24 did more property movies. I know. Because, like, seeing this and where they're trying to go with this, I'm just like, you know, not all A24 movies are brilliant. They hide a lot of the ones that aren't so mm -hmm. hot. Um, But, like, you know. It'd be that, cool that to be see them. Interesting. Yeah. But I haven't even seen this. I'm going to give it a shot. Check it out. Fair I enough. I don't know. Well, I'll... I'll, I'll coming soon whenever that is yeah, whatever the hell that Hopefully, means listen if they're smart october right yeah please at least even just to wait you know because you got at least a couple of weeks before the comic-con trailer that you want to put out there well, then you got to build up the film student kids who are all sure. spending the the halloween night at home in their basements watching scary movies be able yeah. to throw this on you know yeah it might be something that people might be more willing to like to see during that like time period where other people are like more in yeah. line with like no Google christmas like, day i'm gonna go head to head with nosferatu but like february like. yeah <laughs> february then you know what happened i know but no, they said 2024, so it is that's happening so, like, this hopefully, calendar hopefully year. I do October. I'd love, I'd love to watch that movie in October. Uh, you know, that's the only time I would ever give it a chance. So Absolutely. we'll see. But uh, Hellboy, the Crooked Man. Uh, if you want to see it, there's a trailer link in the comments down below. You can watch it unfettered. But let us know also in those comments what you think of the trailer. Yeah, and absolutely. We'll, uh, we'll keep that conversation going. But thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you guys next time.